up next, our focus shifts as we look at some tag team action. But first, let's take a look back at how this match came to be. It was at the end of Maximum Ahead's hard-fought tag team title match against the Dragonhearts, a match they lost. But it was post-contest we saw the combination of Terry Frazier and Charles Samuel Cartel viciously attack Maximum Head. Post-contest, the challenge was laid down. Thus we come to tonight's event, Maximum Hez versus the cartel in a tag team match you won't want to miss. some semblance of revenge in his tag team grudge match if you will. Dan had Max Voltage always popular with the crowd tonight, no exception. So competitive, the winner of this matchup will surely be in line somewhere down the line for a shot at the IPW UK Tag Team title. Because both these two teams are in the tag title mix. 
cartel have gone so long or went so long without being defeated in IPW. In fact, they still like to claim an undefeated record because they, the, the only matches they've lost have been by disqualification. There was that ladder match as well at the one year anniversary show. Who'll forget that? Of course, before we saw the cartel reappear at Caged Warfare in October, here at this same venue, the White Oak Leisure Centre, where they attacked Dan Head and Max Voltage, and you can see that Max went ahead. I haven't forgotten about that. It's like all over the combination of Samuels and Frazier, the cartel. Big headbutt from Dan Head on Shah Samuels. And you'll notice that Dan Head likes to utilise that headbutt. And there's a palm strike to the side of the skull. A headbutt from Dan Head on Shah Samuels. Look at Frazier with a close fist there on Max Voltage. And there's another one. Voltage tosses him into the ring. And maybe we can have this a regular tag team contest there. Samuels still favouring that skull. Dan Head sends Frazier off the ropes. Frazier bolted over. Didn't see Max Voltage from the top rope. Drop kick combination. It's Dan Head and Max Voltage here working in tandem. Nicely done. It's a lateral press, two count only. And you saw Dan Head there clocking Shaw Samuels. He wasn't going to allow him to break up the fall there. And Max from Head looking for a victory early. Double team maneuver, almost a swinging neck breaker and a back breaker or a sidewalk slam, if you will, simultaneously, but not enough to get the job done. Of course, later on, oh my DDT from Terry Frazier spiked him. Because later on, the tight team titles will be on the line as a makeshift Dragon Hearts, Luke Dragon Phoenix, and subbing for Spud. Bubblegum will go up against JC Thunder and his tag team partner uh, Blockbuster. I'm not sure JC Thunder really wanted to be teaming with Blockbuster here tonight. I know he's looking everywhere for a tag team partner. You know, a very similar situation to when JC Thunder wanted to manage a wrestler. Uh, the only person who wanted to be associated with him was Blockbuster. I mean, JC Thunder hasn't exactly got the best of records here in IPW UK despite his popularity. Okay, let's concentrate on the action in the ring here. As Shah Samuels now working over Max Voltage, and it seems the cartel have been able to finally stop the flow of Max from the head and isolate Voltage. And look at Frazier on the outside of the ring, gets him involved with fans here at ringside. And you have to ask yourself the question, what if Shah Samuels got himself in some trouble here? Terry Frazier has not got his mind on the game. Fortunately for him, his tag team partner, Shah Samuels has. I look at attacking them kids. Threatening behaviour from this bully Frazier on the outside. While Samuels continues to dominate voltage on the inside. Still to come, Martin Stone will take Andy Boy Simmons for the IPW UK title, a title which many, including myself, believe he should have never lost in the first place. Just over one month ago it was when Andy Boy Simmons returned to IPW UK on crutches after having promised that he was retiring from the world of professional wrestling. But Andy Boy Simmons fooled us all. He coined in his royal reward. And as a result, Martin Stone is no longer our IPW UK champion. It's 
Frazier now sends Max Voltage into the corner. Voltage cut him off with an elbow. And now a big boot. Now what Voltage got in mind. Double boot stomp on Frazier who was coming in. Voltage went for that handspring elbow, but Samuels caught him, and that's allowed Frazier to cut him off. And look at this, Dan Head protesting. Referee Andy corden has gone over to Dan Head, and it allowed Samuels to administer some more beating. And again, look at this. And this time the referee catches him, wheeling him. And again, the referee goes back over to his melee between Frazier and Dan Hez. And look at Shaw Samuels taking the cheap shot. He's already been warned, yet he knows just how to work an official. From the referee's perspective, it just looks like Samuels has been jaw jacking with those fans. You can't blame him, it's so hard to control a tag team contest, especially when you've got two brutes in there like the cartel. Voltage again, you saw the fight from Voltage, he tried to fight out, but Terry Frazier just drove his skull into the knee. Now takes voltage into the corner. Big elbow to the side of the skull. And you saw the way he almost rearranged voltage shoulder pads before smacking him with another elbow, almost adding an insult to injury. And the cartel have maximum ahead where they want them. They've isolated the smaller man, but voltage again trying to fight back. And again, Charles Samuels cuts him off. And that's just an example of the way the cartel have always kept the fresh man in the ring. Those blows, although dazed Samuels, it wasn't enough for Voltage to build up any kind of momentum. And the cartel taking full advantage. They've split this ring in two. Textbook tag team wrestling now as Samuels sends Voltage up the road. Voltage ducked out a pair of clothesline attempts. Tilton World DDT connects and now can Max Voltage make the tag into Dan Head and can the complexity of this contest change? And listen to the crowd now getting behind Voltage, getting behind Head. Come on Max, you can do this. And yes, he makes a tag into Dan Head as Head takes down Samuels. Now Frazier and Samuels again. And once more to Frazier and Head all over this contest. Caught the arms. And Dan Head is literally using his head to get on top of his competition. Samuels almost measured Head, but Head telegraphed it. Hangman's neck breaker. Big Yakuza kick to the skull. And that could be all she wrote. Well, there's a two count only there on that occasion. Now Dan Head tags in Max Voltage, but how much has Voltage had taken out? But Maximum Head, they like to play to the rules. That's why you saw that tag. Beautiful double team manoeuvre. Nicely done, and Frazier makes a save, and this one's broken down. Samuels now tosses Dan Head out the ring. He hoists Max Voltage up to the shoulders, looking for a winning combination. Yes, the cartel just hit Voltage with a winning combination. He's put away Dan Head there to make the save for his partner. And this is why these two teams are so good. They've got each other's backs. They've got their partner's backs. And Dan Head now throws Samuels over. Oh, well, Samuels caught up in it. Shaw Samuels is hung. He's hung between the top and the middle ropes. It's Frazier got around his fifth. It's Terry Frazier. Terry Frazier just had a chain around his fist.
Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, the Cartel! Sammy's is still hanging there. Just, Sammy's is just home between the top and the middle of the road. But just, just sit Terry Frazier had a load in hand and a chain or, an, or something around his fist. He just nailed down the head. Frazier showing his bloody eye to our camera that a close fist on its own is illegal as it stands but the cartel have just stolen another victory Terry Frazier had a chain or something wrapped around the fist and the cartel have just stolen victory again The second time here in Swanley, Maxwell the head feel hard done by by the cartel's actions. You saw them attacking from behind it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! One more cartel! Just a second! Before you go anywhere! Turn here in Swanley, a Swanley street fight. Maybe the cartel will finally get some comeuppance.